We generally grab a coffee every day without giving it a second thought. But did you know that one cup of coffee has been shown to drop blood flow to the brain by a whopping 40%? How does caffeine do that? By blocking adenosine in the brain. It is the accumulation of adenosine throughout the day that leads to the fatigue that helps you go to sleep at night. However, adenosine also controls blood flow to the brain. Therefore, when caffeine blocks adenosine, it not only decreases fatigue, but also blood flow to the brain. Equally surprising is that caffeine also reduces blood flow to the heart after exercise by 14 to 22 percent. So why does caffeine have such deleterious effects on our health? This all makes sense once you realize that caffeine is a natural insecticide and pesticide that the coffee bean plant produces to deter predators from consuming its seeds, also known as the plant's baby. This gives the coffee plant a survival advantage and lowers the chances that insects, animals, or humans will eat it into extinction. This is a common practice among plants, and that is why you need to learn more about the dark side of a plant-based diet by watching the video I filmed on the topic. I will also link it in the description box below. Does that mean you need to cut out coffee consumption? The answer depends on whether you would prefer to have 100% blood flow to your brain as opposed to 40% blood flow. Also remember that the perceived benefits of coffee fall apart upon closer inspection. You see, you build tolerance to caffeine, and so the reason you might think you need caffeine every day is because if you don't, you will feel the withdrawal effects of not having your daily morning drug. It's important to remember that withdrawal effects are very temporary, and after a couple of days, your brain will adapt to not having caffeine, and you will start sleeping better and experiencing higher energy levels. For more on increasing energy levels, watch this video, which I will link below. Also, it might be wiser to practice caffeine cycling so you can truly take advantage of caffeine's energy boosting capabilities when you absolutely need them. To learn more, watch this video, which I will also link in the description box below. All right, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so YouTube alerts you the very next time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.